Hi guys, good evening. Welcome to the class. Hi Robert, hello Monica, Catherine. How are you doing? How are you feeling Catherine? ¿Qué tal siguió? Uh, I feel good. Good, <laughs> okay, congratulations. Finally, Thank right. You. And what about the weekend? What did you do? Only take a rest. You took, ah, uh, you took a rest. Ah, okay, good. Mm. Who do you live with? Who do you live with? Con quien vive? Uh, with my daughter and my mom. Oh, that's your daughter. I imagine. Imagine. Yes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Welcome to the class, Catherine. Hello, Robert. How are you doing today, Robert? Fine, teacher. You're fine. How was the weekend? Did you enjoy it? Yes, I enjoy my 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 weekend. You did. I went to the beach. You? Yes. What did you do? I'm sorry. I went to the beach. Oh, you went to the beach. Saturday or Sunday? Both days. Ah, okay, the whole weekend. Okay, that's pretty nice. Okay, good to see you here, Robert. So hello everyone, I hope you are doing well. We will start the class with one activity. I'm going to explain the, the way it will work. You, um, we will mention good aspects and bad aspects about our personalities. Okay. Vamos a mencionar aspectos buenos o características buenas y malas de nuestra personalidad. We're going to mention good and bad aspects about our personalities. If I say something good, si yo digo algo bueno de mí, if I say something good about me, Wendy continues and she mentions something bad about her. Wendy va a continuar y ella va a decir algo malo de ella. And then if Catherine continues, she's going to mention something good. Okay, so we're going to alternate. Vamos a alternar. Una buena, una mala. Si a mí me tocó la buena, entonces al siguiente le toca un aspecto malo in English. Do you understand? Or do you have a question? Sí, estamos claros. Try to remember the ones you know in English. Las que se puedan. Si no, that's okay. Okay, so let's begin with Guillermo. Something good about your personality, Guillermo. One word. Uh, I'm a friendly person. Friendly. Okay, thank you, Guillermo. Now, Monica, you continue with a bad characteristic. Monica, are you there? No? Angelica, can you continue? Uh, I am a teacher, como se dice uraño. Mm, can you give me a synonym? Un sinónimo? Uh, <laughs> I know. No, mejor, uh, I was indecise. <laughs> indecisive. But shy, it's like timido. I shy is timido. Uh -huh. But uraño is something different. But, okay. All right, Angelica. So thank you. Let's continue with Catherine. Something good, positive about you. One good characteristic. I am responsibility. Responsible. Thank you, Catherine. <laughs> Wendy, negative Wendy. I am serious. Person. Serious. Uh -huh. Okay, thank you. Vanessa Ramirez. Now something positive. One good characteristic about you. 
uh, a good characteristic. Mm -hmm. Something positive oh. about you. Okay, I am friendly. Friendly, okay, thank you. Robert? You are next. Positive attitude. Mm -hmm. uh, Correct. I am. I am. Negative. I'm sorry. Uh -huh. Negative. I think yours is negative. Mm -hmm. Negative. Yes. Mm, let me see. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm going to give you a moment to think about it. Something negative. But thank you, Robert. Let's continue with Amanda. What about you? Um, I think I I am friendly. Um, okay. Yes. Only okay, friendly. Only okay, that. Amanda. <laughs> thank you. Let's continue with Guillermo. Now negative, Guillermo. And, uh, okay, only give me a second. Okay, all right, no problem. Mm, Wendy, something negative? Oh, okay, it's positive in this case, right? I think that's yes, the one, uh -huh. now positive. How do you say divertida? Funny. Funny, I am funny. Correct. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much, Wendy. Now let's see, Vane, Vane Ramirez. Okay, teacher, repeat, please. Mm -hmm. One good thing about you. Good? Mm -hmm. Something uh, good about you. I am responsible. Responsible, okay, thank you. Give me one sec. Okay, so guys, I'm going to share with you some, some words you can use to describe your personality or your character. Les voy a dar algunas palabras que pueden utilizar para hablar de su character, okay? To describe the way you are. So we're going to start with number one, clever. Clever is like intelligent or smart. Let's begin with Anna. Hello, Anna. Good to see you here. Anna, can you read number Hello. one, please? Okay. The definition Hello. and one example. Okay. Uh, clever. Yes. A person who is quiet quick. to learn, uh, quick mm -hmm. to learn and understand things can be described as clever. She is a clever woman who studies hard and learns quickly. Thank you, Anna. Okay, so yes, clever is like intelligent. It's like a synonym, the word clever. Now, number two, can you help us with the next one, Angelica? Yes, funny, a person who can make people laugh is called funny. She always makes me laugh. She's so funny. Laugh, uh-huh. Thank you very much. So laugh is when you, when somebody says something funny and you start laughing like, ha, 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 ha. <laughs> That's a laugh. Okay, so just to give you an example. Questions in this moment? Do you have any questions for me right now? No. No, teacher. Okay. Number three, generous. Eric, can you read the, the definition and the example, please? Okay. Generous, 
a person who wants to give money or other things so people can be called generous. And he exactly. was very generous. Uh -huh. He he was very generous and uh, no sé cómo se pronuncia. Gave. Gave. Mm -hmm. Gave. As lots of present all the time. Thank you very much. So that's the next characteristic, generous. Then we have hard working. That's the next one we have in the list. Wendy, can you help us, please? Hard working. Hard working, a person who is always doing a lot of work can be described as hardworking. He mm -hmm. was a hardworking man and was always working to make money for his family. Okay, thank you. Okay, so hardworking, someone who works a lot. Next one, we have the word jealous. That is the pronunciation, jealous. Okay, could you read that one, Catherine, please? Jealous. Okay, jealous. A person may feel jealous and angry because someone has something they want. Simon has a new car and Tom feels very jealous because he wants one too. Thank you, Catherine. Are we clear right now? Vamos bien? Do you have questions for me? No. No question. Teacher, I have yes, a Anna. question. Jealous mm -hmm. uh, is the similar envidioso. It's similar, uh -huh, but it's uh, envidioso would be envious. It's a different word. Okay. Uh huh. That's the, the one. It's the same syn syn synonym. Mm, jealous is celoso. So they are okay. similar, but different mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. okay okay thank you teacher. you're welcome now we have kind that's the next one yolanda can you continue please kind kind you are kind when you want to help people and you think about all the other people's feelings jason is always helping his grandmother with her shopping, he's very kind. Okay, thank you, Yolanda. So a kind person helps all the time and thinks about their feelings. That's a kind person. Now we have the word lazy. Can you help us with that one, Robert? Please. Are you there, Robert? Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Yes, it's there. Lazy. Could you read it, please? A lazy person is someone who doesn't want to work or use effort to do. Mm -hmm. I don't want to go to the gym today. I'm so lazy. Okay, Teacher, Robert. Uh-huh. Lazy is like a... I don't know. Yes. Oh, okay. <laughs> That's lazy. Mm -hmm. Someone who doesn't like to do anything. So that's the one. And then we have the word mean or rude. That's a, a different, a synonym for that one. Vanessa Ramirez, can you read it, please? Okay, teacher, mean. A person who is not kind or generous can be described as a mean. He was a mean boy who didn't like to help other people or give them anything. Thank you, Vani. I appreciate it. Questions, guys? What is mean? Como mean. No, Mario. No. Do you know the word rude? Conoce la palabra rude? Mm. Rudo. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. O pesado. pesado. That is okay. someone mean. Yes. Thank you. You're welcome. Let's continue with Tati. Tati, can you help us with serious, the definition and the example? 
someone is serious when they not they don't want to joke it. Mm -hmm. or joke. be joke or be funny mm -hmm. he was very serious and was perfect for the basketball team thank you okay do you have questions about these definitions? Is there something you would like to know? No? Okay. Here you have more adjectives, okay? Positive adjectives. I'm going to read them first and then we will listen to some of you. Listen to the pronunciation, okay? The pronunciation of these words. Friendly, Adventurous, adventurous, polite, polite, understanding, understanding, straight forward, straight forward, bright, bright, hilarious, hilarious, kind, kind. Honest, honest, likable, likable, helpful, helpful, reliable, 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 laid back, laid back, charming, charming. Hard working, considerate, considerate, sincere, sincere, patient, patient, enthusiastic, enthusiastic, easy going. In the chat, you can tell me the ones you don't know. Pueden enviar en el chat todos los que no conozcan. And I can help you with the vocabulary if you wish. You can tell me words you don't know, so I can I can help you out. We can make the list. For example, charming is it's like adorable. That's charming, charming or adorable. And likable, likable is a person easy to like. That's a likable person, easy to like. Reliable, someone you can trust, trust, confiar, someone you can trust, confiable, reliable. Lay back, lay back is a relaxed person, relax or or calm, that's lay back. Teacher. Um, yes, Robert. The word like able is a person easy to like, is fácil de gustar. Uh -huh, but not in the romantic meaning. It's like a uh, in, in this context, Robert. Okay. okay. And then, um, Mario, the word straightforward is a person very honest and direct. And, okay, es como alguien que, que dice las cosas como de frente. Como hay personas que, que como que para decir algo se van como por, como por cualquier lado, pero no dicen las cosas directo. Entonces, a straightforward es alguien que es directo, honesto para decir las cosas. Solo que la palabra sí justa para darlo en Spanish, I don't have it. Pero quizás sería como directo, directo, honesto. Straightforward. And then bright, the word bright is like intelligent. It's another synonym, intelligent, smart, 
clever, bright, is the same. Uh, hilarious, very funny. That's hilarious, very funny. Are there more? Well educated. Polite es educado, alguien educado. Are there more? No sé si se me queda alguna o si hay alguna que aún no la comprenden con la definición. We're good. Okay, we will listen to the pronunciation of some of you. Let's begin with uh, Heidi. Hello, Heidi. Can you read the first column? Puede leer la primera columna, please. Just to listen to the pronunciation. Hi, teacher. Hello. Friendly. Mm -hmm. Adventures. Polly. Understanding. Straightforward. Bridge. Hilarious. Thank you, Heidi. Please repeat after me. Friendly. Friendly. Adventurous. Adventurous. Polite. Polite. Understanding. Understanding. Bright. Bright. Hilarious. Hilarious. Yes. Thank you, Heidi. Now let's listen to Marlon. The same part. Ready, Marlon? Are you there? Uh, Hello, teacher. Hi. Can you read the first call, Hi. please? The first. Um, friendly. Uh huh. Adventurous. Yes. Polite. Understanding. A straight, a straight forward, bright, hilarious. And hilarious, excellent. Thank you, Marlon. Now we go with the second, the second column. Alfredo, hello, can you help us please? With column number two, the okay. one in the middle. Hello, yes, uh, kind, honest. Likeable, helpful, mm -hmm. reliable, 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 mm -hmm. laid back. Laid back. Thank you, Alfredo. Now let's listen to Vanessa Carolina. Can you read the same one, Vanessa Carolina? The one here. Verdad. Yes, Fanny. Ready? Léala, que léala. La de en medio. Está encerrado. Uh -huh. Yes. Oh. Keep honest, like, but helpful. Re no puedo pronunciar. Reliable. Reliable. Lie, lie back. Thank you, Fanny. Repeat after me. Kind. Hi. Kind. Hi. Honest. Honest. Likeable. Likeable. Helpful. Helpful. And laid back. Laid back. Yes. Uh -huh. Okay, thank you, Vani. Now let's continue with Amanda. Amanda, the, the last one here, please. Okay. Charming, mm -hmm. hardworking, consider, considerate, sincere, patient, um, enthusiastic, easygoing. Excellent, Amanda. Thank you. Good job. And now let's listen to Vane Ramirez. Vane, the same, the same column, the last one. Okay. Charming. Hardworking, considerate, sincere, uh, patient, uh, patient. Mm -hmm. 
Enthusiastic. Easy mm -hmm. going. Easy going. Okay, Pane. Thank you. Just this one, sincere. Sincere. Yes. Okay, Pane. Okay. Thank you. Good job. Okay, and this is the last one. Okay, more vocabulary. Negative adjectives to describe personalities. So here you have negative ones. I'm going to erase this one because this is good. So we will remove it from the list. So please listen to the pronunciation. Aggressive, aggressive, impulsive, impulsive, arrogant, arrogant, nasty, nasty, intolerant, intolerant, lazy, gullible, gullible, bossy, bossy, picky, picky, sneaky, sneaky, jealous, jealous, careless, careless, moody, moody, grumpy, grumpy, tactless, tactless, mean, mean, dogmatic, dogmatic, possessive, possessive, irresponsible, irresponsible, pessimistic, and pessimistic. Okay, please tell me the ones you don't know. Send the, the list in the chat. New vocabulary, guys. If you need help, please let me know. And I can, I can help you. Okay, nasty, bossy. Ah, okay, grumpy, Anna. I will tell you in one moment. I'm going to give you a moment to send the, the message and then I will tell you. Okay, Catherine. We have bossy, sneaky, tactless, grumpy, mean, picky. Okay, so number one, nasty. Nasty, it's a dirty person. No sé si conocen la palabra dirty. Esa es como alguien sucio, nasty. That's the, the word. And then we have the word gullible. Gullible means easy to be fooled. Alguien que fácilmente se le puede engañar. Okay? Alguien que se engaña muy fácilmente, que se cree todo. Easy to be fooled, gullible. Then bossy is a person who acts like a manager or a supervisor all the time. Es un mandón. <laughs> so that's bossy. Someone who believes it's like the boss. Okay, mandón. Picky. Okay, picky is someone that we call them fresa. Okay, that is a picky person, like what we call them fresa in Spanish. They are like uh, difficult people sometimes. So that's picky. Sneaky. Uh, do you have a comment? Sorry. Do you have any comments? Sí, sí, que, uh -huh. eh, sí, sí, sin querer nosotros a veces expresamos así a un amigo, una amiga. Es que vos sos bien piqui. ¿Verdad? <risa> en ese sentido, ajá. Eso es uh -huh. que nos, Pero no sé qué otra palabra sería para ese adjective, fresa, porque es un, ese no es un, es como nosotros le decimos, pero no sé qué palabra sería delicado. Sí. ¿no? Ajá, pero inconscientemente Ajá. utilizamos Ajá. palabras. Ajá, pero sé que todos me entienden con, con fresa. So, uh -huh, but yes, <clears throat> that's the one. Ana, did you have a comment? Yes, teacher, it's the same. Uh, Hazel, 
because I have a, a, a good friend. Uh -huh. and, uh, and I say, and I say that. Yeah, you, uh -huh. <laughs> yes. So that is one word we can use sometimes. We have picky friends, picky people. Okay, then sneaky, that's a word that we use for people who are dishonest. Es una persona que es así como misteriosa, que esconde mucho las cosas. Ese es sneaky, sneaky. And then, uh, then grumpy, an angry person, angry. Es como enojón o enojado, ese es grumpy. Amargado, that's grumpy. And tactless is insensitive. Okay, an insensitive person, alguien que es insensible, tactless. Then we have mean, we mentioned that it's like rude, dijimos que es alguien pesado, right? Dogmatic es un dogmático. Dogmatic is a person who has beliefs and they imagine they are correct. Es alguien que tiene alguna fe o cree en algo y piensa que, que no se equivoca, ¿verdad? Que lo que él dice, así es. That's dogmatic. And that's it. I don't know if I'm missing any. No sé si se me queda alguna. That you need it? No. Okay, so now that we have the vocabulary, we will have a little conversation. We will, we will have a little conversation here, and then you'll have a little conversation with one of your classmates. We will practice speaking a little bit. So we will start with, okay, let's con start with Yolanda. Yolanda, can you describe your personality? Can you describe your personality, Yolanda? A little bit. Tell us about you. Are you there? Uh, okay. Uh -huh. um, yes, I'm, I'm friendly. A little je jebus. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. <laughs> um, and I I don't know. Kind. And kind. Okay, Yolanda. Thank you. What about you, Robert? Can you describe a little bit your personality? Can you tell us a little bit about you? About me. Mm -hmm. About your personality. I like hard work. I am, uh, oh, you like hard work. Okay. Yes. Uh -huh. I consider I, I am a loyal person. Mm -hmm. I want to make uh, I want to make her exercise in the morning. Ah, okay, a healthy person, like an athlete. Sometimes. Ah, okay. Try. That's good. That's good, Robert. Okay, thank uh, you. Now, Guillermo, do you consider yourself a lazy person? Do you consider yourself? A lazy person, Guillermo? Uh, actually, no. Why do you say that? Please because explain. Because I am a hard work. I get up every day at 5 a.m. and go to bed at 9 to 10 p.m. every day. Ah, okay, you're very responsible. <laughs> okay, now let's continue with Anna. Anna, are you a patient or impatient person, Anna? And tell us why, give reasons. Okay. Uh, uh, I, can you repeat the question, teacher? Uh -huh. And it's in the chat too. Are you a patient or impatient person? Mm. Oh, I don't remember. Uh, what is person? Patient, paciente. Oh, patient. Yes, I patient person. <laughs> You're patient. 
Yes. That's a very good uh -huh, uh, aspect. And why do you say that you are patient? Because uh, when the, uh, another person uh, mm -hmm. try to hacer algo malo, to do something bad, uh, or, or is mm -hmm. in. I'm not so impatient. <laughs> impatient. Uh, impatient person. I try uh, here, and and I try the the help the help the to per, try the, to help. The per, uh -huh, try to help the person. Ah, uh -huh, okay, that's good, Anna. Thank you. Now let's continue with Mario. What about you, Mario? Are you patient or impatient? And tell us why. Um, I'm. I don't have uh, many patients. <laughs> um, I, oh, okay. I I get this spirit uh, easily. Ah, okay. And why <laughs> why do you say that you you are not patient? <sighs> Can you give us one example? Uh, one situation, something that you do. Uh, for con, con los, uh, for kids, uh, mm -hmm. no, no, no tengo mucha paciencia con eso. No, you don't mm -hmm. like children. Mm -hmm. Ah, sí, me, me, I like the children, pero ah. eh, hay como que diferentes. Eh, no sé cómo decirlo. Más different tremendo, types? Los ah, que son different muy tremendo, types ¿no? of kids. Ajá. Mm -hmm. Like hyperactive kids, those are the uh, ones, sí, energetic sí. kids, those are the ones you don't like. No, don't like, no. <laughs> okay, <laughs> thank you, Mario, for the comment. Okay. Now, let's ask Tati. Tati, are you happy with your personality? Are you happy with your personality, Tati? Yes, teacher. Why? Tell us a little bit, please. What do you say? Mm -hmm. oh, yeah. Me gusta, o sea, I like escuchar a las demás. I like to listen to people. I like to listen to people. Mm -hmm. Cuando quieren decir un chiste o, o cambiar el ambiente. When they want to joke. When, When want they to want to joke. Ah, okay. So you like to listen to people. Yes. I find it. Okay, so you're happy. Very happy with sí. the way you are. Would you like to change something? ¿Le gustaría cambiar algo? Would you like to change something of your personality? De su personalidad? Of your personality? Yes. Yes. I am trying. Ah, okay. You're trying to change. Okay. Thank you, Tati. And, and thank you guys for the comments. We will practice a little bit more, but we will do it in person. Um, okay, I'm going to show you some questions. I'm going to show you some questions here. Give me one moment, please. Give me one moment. Okay, and please take a screenshot, okay? Take a screenshot of the questions. Oh no, hold on. Give me one second, because I lost, I lost the questions. And, Okay, so the idea 
is that you ask these questions to your classmates. Okay, you're going to ask these questions to your classmates. La idea es que con este cuestionario que les estoy dando, le van a hacer preguntas a sus compañeros, a su pareja. Okay? Y cuando volvamos, van a tratar de contarme un poco de su compañero, de su classmate. So take a screenshot. Hay diferentes, diferentes preguntas and you can ask the ones you wish. Ustedes escogen las que pueden preguntar, las que entienden y las que no, no. Try to speak only in English. Traten de, de expresarse solo en inglés porque vamos a practicar speaking, right? Do you have a question? Questions about the activity? No teacher. No questions. Okay. I'm going to visit your room just a moment to just to listen to your conversations. Yo los voy a visitar por lo menos algunos para escuchar sus conversaciones. Okay. And you're going to receive the invite now. Uh, what makes what makes you happy? Um, I happy the music, my work, my song, my family. Eat. <laughs> <That eats. Okay. laughs> oh yes, tacos. In my case, <laughs> like. Pizza. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. Eat pizza. Yes. Yeah. Anna. Are you happy with your personality? Um, are you happy with your personality? Uh, yes. I never stay angry. <laughs> uh, I I consider a funny person, and uh, I don't I don't like be uh, oh grumpy. <laughs> uh -huh, grumpy. I don't like uh, to be grumpy. Yes, I don't like I be grumpy because. Uh, I I will all woman. Haiti. Are you shy? Or do you make friends easily? Oh, are you are you shy? Do you know that word shy? Heidi. No, it's shy. correct shy. Yes, that is timido, Heidi. That is shy, timido or timida. I know. <laughs> no. <laughs> uh, I am extrovert. Extroverty. Uh, okay. You're a funny person. <laughs> in the house. In, in... At work? No. Yeah, in the work. In mm -hmm. My group, the 
the work is driving. They driving. drive. Ah, <laughs> they dance. That's pretty cool. Okay, very well. Continue with the conversation. You're doing well. I'll visit Mario okay. and Catherine. See you in a moment. Bye bye. Bye, teacher. <laughs> Knowing the person or meeting the person. Hi, guys. Yeah. Sorry to interrupt. Hi. I just wanted to listen to you a moment, okay? But you can continue. Okay. okay. Mm, Do you consider yourself a lazy person? How is easily? Como perezosa. No. Easily. The word easily. easily. Facilmente. Lazy. Lazy. Oh, lazy, that's Aragán. Or perezoso. Uh -huh. Lazy. Uh -huh. And easily, uh, that one is facilmente. Okay. What question here? Uh, are you shy? Mm, a little. Why? <laughs> uh, when I meet to the new people, I shy, but I. And then when I talking with the person, I make friends. Uh, okay. Mm -hmm. It's time with you, with, with me. Uh, uh, con, uh, bien, este, conociendo a las personas. Mm -hmm. mm. You no. can say at the beginning, at I the am beginning. shy. Uh -huh. okay. But later, I am I'm friendly. Uh-huh, I'm friendly. Okay. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. Okay, well, you're How going you? well. <clears throat> I'm going to leave, but you're doing an excellent job, okay? Do you have any questions before I leave, Catherine or Mario? Um, what selfish mean? Ah, selfish is the opposite of generous. Not generous, Catherine. Okay. Do you understand? Yes. So Thank what you. do you think it is in Spanish? Uh, como, como mala persona, no, no bondadosa con los demás. Ajá, egoísta. Yes, you got it. Mm -hmm. Y para preguntar, Catherine, hay que decir, what does selfish mean? That would yes, be the right. Yes. <laughs> okay, <laughs> Catherine. All right. We'll see you in a moment. Goodbye. Goodbye. Multifunctional. Multifunctional. Hi, well, Wendy. What is it mean? Hi, Eric. Hi. Hi, teacher. Do you have a question, Wendy? Mm, multifuncionales. No, sería multi, multi, eh, multiple personalities, creo. Multi. Where is the word? Está en la pregunta que les envié. Sí. Or, sí. It's question one. Question one. How, how are ah, male and female, female. personalities? Oh, different? esa parte. Male. Yes. Es un, es como varón. Male. Masculino. Ajá, en female es el sexo femenino. El Entonces, Eric ¿Cómo says, es que son distin distintas? Uh, en el Eric says the uh -huh. female is multifuncional. It's Mul correct. No, pers multi say. Multiple personalities. O al menos multiple. los que yo conozco. <laughs> Sorry. Ah, ok. <laughs> mm, you can use uh, I will go with Different, different moods. 
or multiple, multiple personalities. Multiple. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. multiple. Mm. Yes, Eric. It, it, the male is... Um, Only one. Mm -hmm. One personality. Uh, enfocado, <laughs> the male is uh, <laughs> enfocated in one activity. Focus. In famous, uh -huh. Concentrado. Ah, infamo mm -hmm. is. ¿Cómo sería? Eh, que puede estar en varias actividades. He Para or ver. she can be in different activities at the same time. Yes. That's how you can Eso say. Eso es cierto. It. She can uh -huh. be in different activities <laughs> at the same time. Mm -hmm. uh, Wendy or Eric, do you have any questions for me? Not teacher. No. Okay. Well, no, continue. I I will stay one more minute with you. Just I just want to to listen a little bit. <laughs> okay. Ok, es, ay, no me has escrito ninguna, por eso no pregunta. Yo sí. Ah, la escribes. Sí, Eric, he is happy with his personality. Uh, for the question, what makes you angry? Or oh, Eric angry? Eric, he don't. No, when he lost time to select that. Ah, ok. And Eric says, the fame is multiple personality because she can be in different Yes. Yes. Yes, I, I like. I, I like Kimetsu no Yaiba. It's very interesting. Uh, I mean, I, mean I, I love it. <laughs> ah, you watch it too? Yes. Uh, yeah. The uh, what capital? What very episodes? Very impactful. Impact to you or impacting. shocking? Mm -hmm. Shock. Okay. Shock. How are you doing? Sorry okay. to interrupt. Do you need help, Tati or Angelica? Yeah. Es que estábamos haciendo unas preguntas, teacher, uh -huh. y de la nada vi que a ella le gusta algo que a mí también me gusta. Entonces estábamos uh -huh. little conversation sobre eso. That's excellent. It's okay. Uh -huh. The idea is that you practice the speaking because it's something important too that you speak. So it's okay. Uh -huh. I, I listened okay. that you were speaking in English. So that's excellent. Okay. Okay. Uh -huh. I don't know if there is something you would like to ask. Ask me. No sé si tienen alguna pregunta para mí. No, teacher. No. Okay. You no. still have 50 seconds. Okay. In 50 seconds, I'll see you there. Okay. Goodbye. Okay. Hello. Hello. <laughs> Welcome back. Uh, Robert, what happened? You lost the internet connection. Yes, I suppose. Uh, the room number four. Uh -huh. Se quedó como congelada la pantalla. De ahí me salí, pero nunca me sacó de Zoom. Uh -huh. Yeah, because in my, in my program, I didn't see you in the class. I only saw Monica, Monica alone in the group, in the room, but you were not in the class to send you back. Tampoco a mí me aparecía en el sistema para reenviarlo ahí con Monica. Solo parecía que ya no estaba. So, uh -huh. it was a Zoom, Zoom glitch. Fue ahí un error de ahí de Zoom. So, how was the conversation, Monica and Robert? Monica, what did Robert tell you? ¿Qué le dijo Robert, Monica? I don't hear you, Monica. I don't know if it's the microphone. Uh, 
Okay, now I hear you. His mother and his family made him happy. Um, la verdad, teacher, no sé, tuve problemas con el internet y entonces se le escuchaba ah. cortado, no podría decirle algo más. Uh -huh. Ah, ok, Mónica, that's, that's all right. Ah, porque de hecho me sacó de, de, del Zoom cuando estaba en la conversación con él. Ah, ok, that's, that's a bummer, but it happens. Technical problems. And you, Robert, could you listen to Monica? Could you ask questions? Uh, we, we, we talk about the different question. Really only three questions. Mm -hmm. What did Monica tell you, Robert? Uh, I don't remember well the question. <laughs> you forgot. The first was what, what you make you feel happy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What makes you happy? What did Monica say? His family. In my Her case. Family. Mm -hmm. See my mom, eat, and stay with my family. Family, uh -huh. friends, right? Good company. Okay, Monica and Robert, that's that's all right. You had technical problems, so you couldn't continue the conversation. Let's listen to Amanda and Vanessa Carolina. Amanda, what did Vane tell you? Yes, um, I talk talk with Bane and she told me about the thing that uh, she made happy and like uh, she felt she told me that uh, one thing that she made happy is uh, watch TV mm -hmm. and uh, I I asked about she if she is um if she was an um, outgoing person and she told me uh, she is and she, she doesn't uh, go going person because she don't like go out. She doesn't, she doesn't like it. Okay, doesn't Amanda. Like it. thank you. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm happy guys that you, could, that you could practice your speaking a little bit. Me alegra que pudieron practicar un poco más su speaking. For el tiempo, because of the time, we will have to stop, but we will continue the activity tomorrow, okay? Debido al tiempo, vamos a parar ahorita, pero mañana vamos a practicar más. Please check the list. Traten de repasar los adjectives que les di, porque los vamos a usar mañana, okay? Positive and negative adjectives. But it was good to see you, and I hope you can come tomorrow. Espero que mañana se puedan volver a conectar, okay? So good to see you guys. Have a good night. Bye-bye. Good night, teacher. Good night, teacher. Bye. 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 Good night.